Let's talk about Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. What do you think? Do you think this is the main event for Survivor Series? Easily. You, easily. 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 I got to say, I mean, with Survivor Series, with so many Raw and SmackDown matches taking place, this is the match that has the highest stakes. We talk about Team Raw, Team SmackDown, which is the better brand, and that's all well and good. But Brock Lesnar and Goldberg, to me, is the match that is the most of, of, of importance on the show. With Goldberg saying, I'm back for one more match. I'm doing this for my family. Lesnar says, I don't give a crap about your kids. I don't give a crap about your wife. I'm here to make money and to avenge that loss from 12 years ago, from a dozen years ago at WrestleMania 20. It's a simple story, and it works. Week in and week out, they have done an excellent job of getting me hyped up for this match. And that final face-off on Monday, in my opinion, could not have gone off better. Well, let's talk a little bit about the reality of this fantasy warfare come to reality. But the reality is, as you just pointed out, that Goldberg has not really been in a competitive ring scenario since that match with Brock Lesnar 12 years ago. And before that, that wasn't even the height of Bill Goldberg. Before that, another 10 years before that is when Goldberg really made his first big splash in pro wrestling. Talk to me a little bit about where you think Goldberg ranks or stacks up against the Beast Incarnate right now. I mean, it's a it, two completely different eras. Like you said, I mean, Goldberg was in WWE a little over 12 years ago from 03 to 04, very short stint. But then you... You, you can't forget about the fact he had an illustrious career over in WCW, former world champion, United States champion, undefeated for 178 matches or something like that. But Brock Lesnar, look at the reality of this. Goldberg was great then. Is he great now? We'll find out on Sunday. But we know for a fact that Brock Lesnar is great right now. The last time we saw him in the ring, he was beating up a Randy Orton in his prime. A 35, 36-year-old guy in a matter of eight minutes, beating him to a literal bloody pulp at SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar has been an unstoppable force for well over three and a half years. Goldberg, we're going to find out how he fares on Sunday. I mean, height-wise, I think that they match up. Uh, Goldberg matches up with Brock Lesnar better than anyone we've seen since The Undertaker. And even then... It was, while, while it felt monumental that Brock Lesnar defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania, it seems that Undertaker is definitely not the competitor that he was even in the Attitude Era. So, nothing, not to take anything away from the dead man here, but I don't think we've seen Brock Lesnar go up against a competitor that has the size and strength of Bill Goldberg, but at the same time, Bill Goldberg certainly doesn't have the endurance of a full-time pro wrestler right now. So for me, I it's hard for me to imagine that the same thing that happened to Randy Orton will not happen to Goldberg. I mean, I have to believe that when Paul Heyman says that he is going to be victimized, that is exactly what is going to happen here. And, and to throw a little bit more onto that fire, Brock Lesnar has a loss under his belt to Bill Goldberg and the annoying Goldberg chance going on and on and on throughout all of this has been used to fuel the beast and, and to really put all of that focus into Bill Goldberg. I... I hate to say it, I would love to see Goldberg come back and win, but I think he's going to become out of this a broken Bill Goldberg. I think he walks out Sunday conquered, victimized by the beast incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar. I think there's a good chance, I think he has a better chance, oddly enough to say, of anyone else that Brock Lesnar has faced this year, from Dean Ambrose to Randy Orton. I mean, the guy's closing in on 50 years old, so it's hard to say that he's a real threat to Brock Lesnar. But physically-wise, despite the fact he hasn't been in the ring in over 12 years, like you said, physically-wise, I have not seen him better. Um, I mean, obviously, we haven't seen him in a dozen years, but he still stands tall at even 50 years old with a great physique. He dominated single-handedly every single one of those security guards on Monday night during that final face-off with Brock Lesnar. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, Anyways, then, even apparently during that, though, he had come out after I was uh, the just about to say, and yeah. said that he tweaked he his injured, shoulder. Yeah. You know, and whether that's an injury or just, you know, the dust, shaking off the dust or whatever, yep. you're still not in that prime shape that you expect your body to reflexively react to these scenarios with. Yep. So are we going to see uh, Goldberg potentially injure himself in the process of doing all of this? And how is that going to play a factor into the fact that we have the beast coming with full vicious force towards Goldberg? It's. I think it, it just it screams main event. It screams main event of uh, Survivor Series. To be a survivor against Brock Lesnar has got to be at the core of what this means. But 